G'day guys, Mang's here. Um, so, Binks and I, we're, we're currently, <laughs> we're currently uh, at Mount Borbor. We're going for a very long hike, roughly about 15 and a half kilometers, covering three different mountains. Mount Borbor, Mount St. Falak, and Mount St. Guinea. Guinea. I'll, uh, probably get better pronunciations when we're actually on the mountains but that's what I'm doing today uh, should be fun and yeah so we'll uh, we'll get into it it's early May so it's a little chilly it's what six degrees five degrees yeah six Celsius yeah six or five the winds cold but it's good so it's just before the snow season so we're getting a little bit of pre-season training in and we had a day off together, so we thought, let's just go out and be in nature and have a nice time. So yeah, we'll get into it. Are you filming me? I'm no, cool. well, it would be funny. <laughs> no, I yeah. You laughed at me when I nearly <laughs> fell. That's cheating. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> so, so far this track's been rather intense. <laughs> it's fun though. It is fun. Oh, don't mind my hair. I have a beanie on, but I don't right now. <laughs> um, we did briefly get lost because that was my fault. Um, we were tracking on the app, and that's what I'm using as a map, and it's not exactly perfectly correct. So we took a wrong turn, ended up in the wrong trail part, and had to like double back and cut through a trail to get to the right part. But we're on the trail now, and all we have to do is just stay on this one. So I think we're good now. Yeah. It's been. We're getting wet feet. Yeah, we're getting wet feet because it's actually really quite wet up here. I mean, I don't know how much rain they had up here, but we only had a little bit at home. It's not that bad. Might have to invest in some proper hiking boots. I'm in hiking boots. Yeah, you're still getting wet. I meant like good ones. Any ideas? So we're doing this one and then hopefully this one. Mount Saint for well, like. It's only six kilometers all up. We yeah. Do that. So we're gonna do that. Just that way. Looks a pretty tough, tight walk compared to the other ones. Should be alright. What does this say? Are you a bog stumper? No. <laughs> We made it to a checkpoint. We're at Philax Saddle, Mount Philax. So we've made it to 
one of the checkpoints. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. We're gonna stop for some rest and a bit of lunch because it's that time of the day. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, it's, there's not really a lot to look at. Like, over there, there's probably, like, really good views down there, but you can't really see. And all of these bushes are real spiky, so... And there's no path through them, so... I'm gonna go this way. And I believe that phone tower, which you probably can't see, <laughs> but maybe if I zoom... Or... It's like... There's my hand, there's my hand. It's there. That little like dot. That's where we came from. So it's pretty far away. Scratch that last comment about this, that being Mount <laughs> St. Philax. This is, we found a big pile of rocks. Like, do you want to stand next to it for a comparison, please? As you can see, big decently pile big pile of rocks. And that sign over there says Mount St. Mount St. Philax. So this has to be it. Not much of a view, but still very pretty. So we're gonna keep going that way and head on to Mount St. Gwinnay. Gwinna? Whatever. We're gonna get there. So we still have a little bit to go. We've got another kilometer till we get to Mount St. Gwinnia. But we just found that an awesome rock formation. So we're gonna have a look. It's pretty cool. There's like a hole. Any ideas? And look! Hey, friend. There's a wild thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool little hole. Oh, wow. You can probably almost stand up in it, I reckon. Alrighty, let's do it. Let's hit this last peak. When we say the last kilometer, we mean that this is the last kilometer before we turn around and walk all the way back. <laughs> Up there where we gotta go, looks kind of steepish and it looks like it's a decent rise for the whole length of the, of the kilometer pretty much this is a really cool little like bog plateau isn't it wow look at all these boulders that's a nice boulder shrek this is my swamp Well, it is a swamp, technically. There's water there. It's just a bog. See, swampy. Smashing it to the top. Oh, oh, the view is worth. Whew. That was a heavy last little bit just to get up this. They said one kilometer. I don't I don't think it was a kilometer, but we did it. Not as high as we were. Yeah, Mount Borbor's higher. So this one's only 1,509 one. meters high. Yeah, that was 150. Yeah. Look at that. It's 
look at our rock. Dun, 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 dun. High five. High five. Hold on, baby. Yeah, so just a little bit of information about the walk. So it's called the Mount Borbor Three Peaks Walk. And um, the way it is, is that there's three mountains. So you do the Mount Borbor Summit, the Mount Philak Summit, and the Mount Gwenea Summit. So it's three walks. Uh, it's a total of 15.5 kilometers roughly, there and back, so a round trip. So just over seven, seven and a half roughly to one way. It's a grade three walk, so that's grade three out of five. So it's not a difficult walk, but it's not an easy walk. Uh, it's recommended that you have some moderate or you know, intermediate experience of bushwalking. Some spots are a little bit more difficult than others, but roughly like it's, it's not a hard walk. If you do a lot of walking and you're used to going up hills and downhills and good for the long distance, I think you'll be fine. Kids, probably wouldn't recommend it for kids unless they're a little bit older and really into it. It's not really a kid-friendly walk, I suppose. Oh, that's boggy. That's real boggy. Ugh. Nailed it. Oh, there's more. All right, so yes, it's not probably recommended for kids. Ah, uh, it's cold. It's generally pretty cold up here being a mountain. It's roughly sitting at about 14, 1400 to 1500 meters the whole time. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's elevation of the whole walk is about 450 meters, roughly. Uh, I'll put some links in the description from Australia Hikes, hiking. They have a really good like map, everything like that. So you can see the walks. Also recommend All Trails, the app. Very good app, not sponsored or anything, but just an actually good app. Um, there is a subscription part to it, but I haven't got that subscription part. Um, but check it out if you do a lot of bushwalking. It's really, really handy. They do a lot of countries around the world, so really, really handy. Recommended gear. If you're doing it in autumn like we are, we're on the cups of entering winter here. So it's currently five degrees, six degrees roughly. It is cold, but once you warm up as you go along, like I, I had my vest on and everything and I've taken it off and Bianca's in a in a t-shirt and a vest, so, you know, pretty good. Uh, rain, when it does rain, it will be a lot colder. If it's windy, it will also be a lot colder. Um, wear some good, decent hiking boots or waterproof shoes that are very comfortable to walk in because it can be quite wet and boggy. Like, I'm wearing my Vans runners, like sneakers, and they were not the greatest of choices. They've done okay, but my sock has got wet at times. So if you don't like that, then definitely don't be wearing standard runners. <laughs> so Borbor's roughly about an hour and a half to two hours out of Melbourne. Uh, we come from the morning to Peninsula, so it's about two and a half hours for us, plus. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you again in the next one. And yeah, thanks again.